Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jake Brown from General RV and this is the fourth day of our 2021 virtual RV show. If you guys have not yet, please go to our website, generalrv.com forward slash virtual RV show. Go to YouTube and Facebook to subscribe for notifications. Today we're going to be focusing on RVs and supplies for those adventure seekers as well as those who love to travel light. Up next, Matt is going to walk you guys through a brand new 2021 Forest River Ibex. Let's take a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey everyone, Matt with General RV. I'm standing in front of the 2021 Forest River Ibex 19 MBH. I'm really excited to show this to you guys today. This is one of the newest segments in this market. And I think Forest River did a great job of bringing something definitely different that we don't see many of in this, in this smaller travel trailer market. Um, this is definitely the outdoor adventurous perfect unit. Let me show it to you really quick, come on. So one thing that sets this trailer apart, especially when you first see it, is the ground clearance and the height. This thing stands a bit taller than everything else that's out there. So then the reason why is because Forest River wanted to give you that option to take it wherever you want to take it. Part of that too is the 15 inch alloy wheels wrapped in those great looking all-terrain tires. So that'll help you definitely get through anything you need to get through, mud, snow, deeper stuff. These are great, not to mention great looking too. Um, one thing they did incorporate really well is bringing all your outside activities, keeping them outside instead of moving to, towards the inside. A lot of people like to spend time cooking out here and doing that, but the room and the space tend to be a tight fit. So what they ended up doing was came out with this ingenious system for this storage, almost this tray system, in addition to the grill top, where it's easy on, easy off, simple, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of space when you're not using it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this table, this cooking top table here, will just come right off. There's no attachments. It latches on this rail that's on the side. Same thing with this Suburban propane cooktop grill, which we just hooked up before we started filming. Really quick, really simple, great use of space on that too. Um, we also have two 110 outlets on the side when you're hooked up and a spray port so you can hose off before you jump into the coach. Solid, solid fold steps in there, easy in, easy out. Um, they'll also have adjustable legs on the bottom as they all do. That way, in case you're not on level ground, you can make sure it's level when you're getting in the unit. One awesome feature on here is with traveling as you would in this adventure type, you want to make the best use of space that you have. So a lot of people will bring along with them bikes, kayaks, and whatnot. But the problem is, is keeping the space for everything else in addition to those bikes and kayaks. So this has the option, it should say standard on here, to have your bunks in here, but then you can also change this bunk compartment into a great storage compartment. Easily accessible from both the outside and the inside and plenty of space. I could probably fit one bike in here very comfortably. Um, in addition to that, you have the rack on top, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Great use of space there, easy access, great feature. Heading around to the back side, all Ibexes will come standard, of course, with the spare, and the spare matches the four tires in the front, as you can see, and a roof ladder. Now, the reason these are standard on here is, is Ibex also added a roof rack on the top. So it actually has a Rhino Rack RVT track system. That way you can add attachments for skis, snowboards, bikes, mountain bikes, whatever you'd like, and it doesn't take up space either in the trailer or in your tow vehicle. Great addition. Forest River also wanted to make sure that they, this unit was a, a, a great unit to take no matter what kind of conditions you're gonna throw at it. A lot of trailers on this size won't have enclosed underbellies or even heated pads. This one actually will. So I have heated gray tank, black tank, and your fresh tank, in addition to a heated enclosed underbelly. And one thing which you never see is enclosed termination valves, which means these termination valves here are up, tucked in the underbelly, closed off, heated, won't freeze. Great feature there. The small things are really what sets trailers apart, and I want to show a couple of things on this too, because they really thought this out. So whenever you're camping, you're hooking up, you unhook from the tow vehicle, this always hangs out, your, your plug-in. So there's a great little spot they added here, little storage, keep it off the ground, out of the dirt and out of the water, tucks away perfectly. Another thing, is your 
disconnect, your battery disconnect. A lot of times we sometimes forget that our battery's connected and it might draw if we leave it somewhere for a long period of time. This eliminates that issue. Quick, simple on and off, controls a whole power 12 volt from here to the entire coach. Smart move there. Power tongue jack is included on here. Another thing which we've been seeing more and more is these front windows. Now this is not plastic. This is actually an automotive grade window in the front. We'll take a look at the benefits of that on the inside. Now, first thing that I wanna talk about on the inside here is the storage. One thing that is always tied on a trailer this size, like I mentioned on the outside, is the amount of storage that it has and the lack of. I think Forge Rover did a great job with this, and I'll show you a couple things. This is a 19 MBH, so it is a bunkhouse, as you can see with the flexibility to have the storage, but that MB also stands for the Murphy bed. So you have also, in addition to the dinette here, you have a great seating area that's easy to use, in addition to being very comfortable. Not to mention the bed on the other side. So let me show you how this works really fast. Once you're done sitting, lounging around, couch folds down. It's a little latch to pull up top. Fold it down. One thing that you'll notice right away is how much natural light that front window gives. That's a great feature on this trailer. Makes it all the difference in the world for lighting in here. Um, walking around in the inside, we have our standard sink in here. Makes the best use of space for the cutting board built in right on top, which is nice. And then you have your two burner propane stove and your microwave is tucked down here. Now, this you never see. Centralized vac system. So this is great. So. Once you track everything inside, when you're doing your, your adventure stuff in the outside, it's easy to go ahead and lift this up. This is a dustpan, so sweep everything up. It turns on when you're plugged into 110, sucks everything into the bag. Or you have this attachment port. This is like a regular host system at home. Plugs right in, you get a handle, attachments. This is great. Not, we don't see this very often at all in many of our travel trailers, if any of them right now, currently. Um, six cubic foot fridge. Norcold, great space in here too. Plenty for the weekend or a long week. Bunks are double bunks. I have this folded up right now for storage, but of course this bottom bunk mimics the top, top bunk. And then great bathroom size too. More storage over here. In addition to having additional storage up top. One thing I'll also notice, point out, is this control panel here. So obviously you have the gauges for your gray tank, your black tank, fresh water, and battery. In addition to having your water heater, water pump, and then here's something different, which I mentioned on the outside already. You have all three tanks have heating pads on them. That way you don't have to worry about freezing. This will also, the dinette here will also fold down into a bed in case you have extra guests that wanna come in addition, of course, to the bunk beds too. Plenty of sleeping space. These are also comfortable when you're, you wanna sit down and eat. Another big item that I wanna to note too is this big panoramic window on the side, which opens up quite a bit. I think a lot of trailers, especially this size, the lack of windows really closes them off and makes them feel a little bit tight. This eliminates that problem. In addition to having these windows over here on the side that open up, so you have the cross breeze, which is a big deal on here. Um, a lot of this coach will run off the 12 volt system, but it will have that 1000 watt inverter, like I mentioned too, that standard with that 100 watt solar panel, that 10 amp solar controller as well. The controls for the inverter are actually right here. So everything's really simple, really close, plenty of plugins, USB ports, storage in the back there too. There is a big slide for the window in the front, which is nice in case you wanna close it off when you go to bed. Great trailer overall. This is something we haven't seen in the market yet. Definitely for those who love that adventure in the outdoors. Couple of things I wanna mention as well on the construction of this Ibex. So the sidewalls are also made of Asdel, which is another alternative to fiberglass. So the great thing about this is the Asdel component is also lighter. It's better for sound deadening. 
Also, climate control in terms of keeping the heat inside or the cold inside, depending on what, what type of climate you're camping in. And not to mention it's resistant to, uh, to delamination. So in, can, in case any water intrusion happens, you're not gonna have that bubbling that you'll see sometimes on the outside of fiberglass trailers, which is a great, great piece of this. Um, in addition to that, I wanna mention the overall weight of this unit, dry as it sits right now, is about 4,100 pounds. So this can be towed with many mid-sized SUVs. Grace it, makes it a great, option for families that have that SUV that want to be that possible that weekend warrior with it as well. So overall, great trailer. I think Forrester did a phenomenal job on this. It definitely meets a part of the market that we don't see too many trailers like this in this segment. So happy to carry it. Head on down to one of your General RV super centers by you or check us out online at generalrv.com. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt. Hey guys, up next, Matt is going to walk us through the brand new 2021 Coachman Crosstrek. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Today I am super excited to be showing you a brand new product from Coachman. This is the 2021 Coachman Crosstrek Model 22XG. And what's very unique about this Class C is that there is no generator on board. It's very awesome. Let's begin up front here. This is powered on an E350 chassis. Since it is a new 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8 engine with 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. This is a very small compact class C with no slide outs, but it does have some awesome storage that I will show you in a second. Right here, we do have a place for a television on the outside. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights, and because this is a Coachman, they use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. Here is what really makes this motorhome. Coming around the back, we have a door right here that when it opens up and you flip up the bed on the inside, it converts into storage. Look at this. Imagine all the possibilities you can do with this. You could put bikes, kayaks, toys, grills, you know, uh, really big coolers or whatever you can think of back here. Also, if you do decide to put bikes in, you do have D-rings right there to tie it down. Also, if you're at a place and it's a cool night, you can keep that door open and you have this screen door here so you can get some really awesome cross breeze without letting the bugs inside the motorhome. Speaking of the inside, the inside looks really great, especially for being so small. Let's go take a look at the inside. Great, so coming in this motorhome, again, no slide outs, but it still feels super spacious in here. Because this is a Class C motorhome, you do have a bunk over the cab. This holds 300 pounds. If you want to put storage up there or even kids up there to make sure that they don't go rolling off, you have this netting right here that buckles in for transport or when the kids are sleeping. Right over there in the bunk over the cab, you do have a Furion TV and it is a good place from the seating area. The seating area is going to be right here. It is a J-shaped lounge which i really like if you need more seating area this is a really cool feature this comes out and you put that cushion right there and it makes a u-shaped dinette also the dinette drops down now to make an additional sleeping area if needed you do have seat belts around there in the j also cup holder integrated in that cushion love that feature really nice big window and we have storage, ab oops, we have storage above. Then across is our kitchen area. Really good, really nice drawers. Just giving you that little bit of elevation for more storage space also. Here's where your countertop would be. Very small kitchen, very compact motorhome. You know, what I like to tell people, this is for the person who's looking at a Class B motorhome that really wants something that's a little bit bigger. Right over here, we do have a microwave right here. Three burner cooktop with glass topper. 
and a Magic Chef oven. And then across is the refrigerator. What's great about this refrigerator, when you look at comparable motorhomes in this size, they normally have what I call a dorm sized refrigerator. This is a huge compressor fridge. This, this refrigerator is in the same 32 foot models of this motorhome. So I love that. The fact that you're still getting a fridge this size in a small compact motorhome is awesome. Now back here in the bedroom area, when you're not using it as storage, this drops down and just like that, you're able to sleep here. This is a really great size area. You have a window right there, just letting more natural light in and it's really awesome. And then finishing up, we have a little bit of wardrobe space since everything's kind of in one room. And then to wrap it all up is our bathroom. Now, for me, this is a small bathroom, but again, the person who's looking at this motorhome is probably, they probably are comparing this to a class B camper van. So when you compare this to a class B bathroom, this bathroom is huge and amazing. You actually have your own shower, which is great. Little tight, but it's your own shower. You have your own sink and your own toilet. If you guys aren't familiar with the class B's, your bathroom, shower, and sink is all enclosed in one area. So when you compare that apples to apples, this is a huge bathroom and it's very nice. Great, so that's the all new Coachman Cross Trek Model 22XG. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, feel free to give us a call or check out our website, generalrv.com. There you'll be able to see all availabilities, in stock units, and different floor plans. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt. Hey, you guys, stay tuned. We're getting ready to show you guys some of the awesome parts and accessories that we have at all 13 of our super centers nationwide. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Anthony from General RV, and welcome to camp, camping accessories and motorhome parts. The Linda Hen Extended Assist Rail provides convenient and steady support. It features aluminum tubing with black powder coating and a comfortable black foam grip. It locks open and makes it easier to go in and out of your RV and folds and locks up the side for travel. The 3,500 pound capacity electric tongue jack is for trailers with weight distribution hitches pulled by small trucks or SUVs. It features built-in motor protection, 18 inch travel leg with additional five inch drop down leg, two separate LED night lights, a heavy wall outer tube, and an emergency crank through the socket. The extended line lets you have a space to dry your clothes so you can wash and wear items again and again. It's also great for campers with babies and small children that tend to spill something on their clothes the second they put them on. It features six 39 inch arms that can support up to 10 pounds per arm. It also comes with brackets for RVs without ladders and can be used at home too. The e-spec bike rack is a hitch mounted bike rack that is RV and e-bike approved, but you can also put it on your regular vehicles too. Designed for a two inch hitch receiver, it can carry up to two 70 pound bikes with 20 to 29 inch wheels, tires up to three inches wide, and fits most frame sizes, shapes, and styles. The rack also features a locking threaded hitch pin, locking ratchet hooks, and can be folded up when used in your car, truck, or RV. Aero Reef breathable outdoor mat is better on grass than ordinary patio mats. These mats are constructed of durable PVC coated polyester mesh that allows air and sunlight to flow through and UV protected to prevent sun damage and fading. Brass grommets allow for easy stake down and all edges are hemmed to prevent fraying or unraveling. Cleanup is a snap, just use soap and water and the zipper bag with strap handles makes it easy to carry and store. Furion Vision S 
seven inch camera vehicle observation system offers you peace of mind and gives you visibility all around your RV. You'll appreciate the clear and uninterrupted live video from three wide angle cameras with infrared night vision. The motion detectors automatically detect movement outside of your RV and the microphone picks up sound, which makes backing up safer. Using the seven inch touchscreen monitor, you can toggle between four live streaming cameras with audio. The Furion 32 inch TV and soundbar system is specifically designed to handle the bumps, vibrations and extreme temperatures that average TVs can't. It features an all-in-one entertainment system, a two zone stereo and powerful CPU that processes signals in real time for a cleaner motion and enhanced video gaming experience. You can find all these items and more at GeneralRV.com. Welcome back, guys. Up next, one of our favorite reps from Coachman is gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Coachman Beyond. Tommy? Good morning, my name is Tommy Kaler, and I'm the National Sales Manager for Coachman's Class B Division. Today I'm very excited to showcase a few features of our new 2021 Beyond 22C on the all-wheel drive Ford Transit chassis equipped with our lithium Li3 complete lithium battery management system. Okay, new for this year on the Ford chassis is their option to have the all-wheel drive. This has been a kind of a game changer in the Class B segment. Uh, before you had front-wheel drive or you had rear-wheel drive, but now in Ford you can have all-wheel drive all the time. Um, it's been a huge game changer. Customers absolutely are going bananas over this. Not only that, we have a ton of new safety features that Ford came out with. They redesigned their dash. You've now got a bigger display. You've got blind spot monitoring, I and mean, you've got um, adaptive cruise control. So those are just some of the features that Ford has improved on this year's model. Okay, so on the roof of the, of the Beyond, every coach is gonna come standard with two 110 watt solar panels. So you're getting 220 watts of solar standard on every unit. Um, solar on a Class B is pretty cool. It's really important because it's gonna help offset your uh, daily battery usage. So it's gonna help top off your battery so they never get too low. Um, it's not enough power to actually run everything inside the coach, um, but your, your daily use for your refrigerators, your lights, things like that, solar is gonna help recharge those batteries up. So one of the things we found in the Class B segment was a lot of our customers were buying their Class B and then they were immediately going and adding on Sumo Spring Suspension. Um, it's a very popular and pretty easy add-on after the fact. Um, so we went a step further and decided just to make it a standard feature on all of our vans. Take that, you know, take that task away from the customer. Um, it helps immensely with road vibration. Um, it helps take away that sway when you're going, when you're turning um, some tight corners down the road. Um, and it, it makes a remarkable difference and it's a pretty easy install for the factory to do. In the evolution of Class Bs, one of the things we started learning from our customers is not every customer wanted an onboard generator. Um, so we worked very, very closely with the company to develop, to develop a complete lithium battery management system that is so powerful, it totally takes the place of your onboard generator. Um, our system, our, our batteries are actually made pretty close to where we're at today in Clearwater, Florida. So they're American made. Um, you get 600 amp hours of lithium battery power. Um, that's enough power to power everything in this coach, including, which is pretty awesome, we're the only ones doing it, our 12 volt, 20,000 BTU air conditioner. Our lithium system is so powerful that that 12 volt air conditioner can run about eight to 10 hours off of that lithium battery, which is pretty remarkable. So just recently, matter of fact, we made a couple pretty big changes to our bathrooms in our Beyond product. We added first and foremost, an, your own um, Oxygenix Fury handheld shower head with on off switch. So now there's no more need to grab your faucet from your sink and pull it up to shower off of that. You got your own designated shower head always. The second thing we added is a shower miser water saver. So typically in RVs, when you wanna take a hot shower, you gotta turn the water on to hot 
and you got to wait for that water to heat up and in the meantime you've just wasted a lot of your fresh tank um, you know in class B's our tanks aren't that big so um, you know saving every drop is really important so the shower miser actually circulates the water until it gets up to the temperature you want then you can turn on your shower and you've already got hot water so one of the things that coachman class b's are, are kind of known for is our hardwood cabinetry every piece of wood in this unit is 100 percent real hardwood even our drawers are high-end residential english dovetail um, when I say that uh, we have really, really nice expensive cabinetry, I don't mean just in the Class B segment. These are probably the nicest cabinets you're gonna find in the RV industry regardless of product type. So um, we don't have any issues with these cabinets. They cost us a lot more money, but they don't cause us any defects down the road. So we're pretty proud of them. Okay, so every Beyond is gonna come equipped with two Firefly multiplex touchscreens. This is kind of the, uh, the brains of your coach right here where you're gonna operate everything from your, your lights, your AC. Um, we've now integrated our Truma Combi furnace controls into this. So your, you know, your generator start, if you have a generator on board, you're gonna do all that through this. Um, so you always have one in the front of the coach and one in the rear of the coach. Um, one of the new cool things that we've just done is we are the only Class B right now that has a complete remote access app. So as long as your coach has internet, no matter where you are, you can access your coach's controls. Whether you're turning on the, the air conditioner, you wanna turn on the furnace, you wanna turn on your lights, your generator, you can do that from a, a, any distance in the world as long as you have internet. Okay, I wanna thank you very much for taking a few minutes to go over some of the features of our new Beyond 2021-22C on the new Ford all-wheel drive chassis. Um, once again, my name's Tommy Kaler. I'm the National Sales Manager for Coachman's Class B Division. Um, so thank you very much and have a good day. Wasn't that an amazing unit? Up next, Matt is gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Forest River Salem. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a Forest River Salem FSX. It's model 280RT, and it is a toy hauler. I absolutely love this. Let's begin up here. This is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. That's really going to help keep the price point down on a travel trailer like this. We do have storage underneath here, which is really good for a travel trailer toy hauler. Coming down the side, we have a huge power awning with LED lights, and right here is our solid steps. I don't even wanna call this a toy hauler. I wanna call this a travel trailer with a garage because you're still getting all your features of a regular camper. You're just able to bring your toys along with you. Two axles, which is really gonna help. Outdoor shower right here. So if you do get a little muddy or dirty, you can rinse off before going inside the camper. And what's really unique and great is that you actually have two doors to this trailer. This door actually gets you into the garage, but let's check out the rear. This is a ramp door and a patio. And let me show you how easy it is to set up. Just like that, when you need to use this as a ramp, you just take these cables so this ramp goes all the way down. And if you don't need it as a ramp, all you do is this. You take the pins out here, pin out there, this pin right here, and this pin right there. Flip it up like that, set it down like that. Very awesome and nice. And then for purposes of the video, we're not gonna do it, but when you're all set up and you got your patio set up, you then put the pins back in there so the gates don't go dropping down on you. But it's very easy and nice to set up. Also, look at that screen right there. So if you're camping, you can have this patio open and bugs are not gonna get inside your RV. Let's go take a look at the inside.
great. So entering this travel trailer, again, if it wasn't for that back area, you would have no idea that this was a toy hauler. It's light, it's bright, it's modern. It's a modern decor that I know my wife would absolutely love this. Right here we do have a sofa, and it is a Murphy bed sofa. So what I mean when I say that is, you take this and you drop it down. You have a little hook right here. You set that down, and then, just like that, your sofa Murphy's into a bed. Really nice bed, really good size. I like the bed cover, and there is plenty of storage all the way around the bed. And we have an emergency exit window right there. Also, we have a huge slide out right here. I absolutely love this. This is a big U-shaped dinette. There's storage underneath the dinette, a nice big window right there, and this is plenty big enough for the whole family to sit around. And then right here, this is where your TV would go. Again, this is a price point unit, so they don't put the TV in to help keep the price down, but you can put whatever TV you want there with the TV backer. And then right here is a 30 inch Furion fireplace. And then right here's your kitchen. I love this. Really nice big sink right there. Plenty of storage all the way around. I love how you have a window right there at your kitchen so you can see what's going on outside of your campsite. Storage above there. More storage underneath there as well. You do have a Furion microwave, Furion oven with glass topper if you do need more countertop space. And right here we have our Everchill refrigerator. Very nice. This is a compressor fridge, which gives you a really big freezer and a really big refrigerator space. Now, in the middle, we have a split bath, okay? And what that means is we have a very nice and big shower right there. And then on the other side is our toilet area. So first we have nice storage right there. We have a mirror right there. Right there's our sink, a little bit more storage there. And with how big this bathroom is, we have plenty of space right here to uh, be comfortable. And there is another door right there to the garage area. But checking out this garage area, look at this dinette. This is awesome. This dinette does convert into a one solid bed. We Again, we do have a door to the garage area so you can get in and out. D-rings on the floor. That way you tie down your toys when you're in transit. Plenty big storage right here. And then this uh, table does move to the side. And with this screen door right here, when you're ready to go out onto the patio, all you do is open that up and now you're out here camping. Great, so that's the 2021 Forest River Salem FSX model 280RT. It is a great travel trailer with a garage. If you guys have any questions about this unit, just give us a call or check us out online at generalrv.com to see all available pricing and availability. Thank you absolutely so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt. Hey guys, I can't wait to show you this next unit. Matt is gonna walk you guys through the brand new 2021 Thor Quantum. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone, I'm Matt, and today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the 2021 Thor Quantum Model SC27. This is a great Class C motorhome that is perfect for state and national parks because of the length. This is truly under 30 feet long, which is really important if that's how you like to camp. Up front here, it is powered on an E450 chassis. Now, since it's a 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter engine with 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. What something that I like that's kind of new this year is they're doing the white cab and the white motorhome. In previous years past, they had what was called the HD Max, which made this a different color from the cab. So I like those features. Also, there is 
cameras integrated in both mirrors. There's also a camera in the rear. Coming down the side, we have a huge power awning. That's the length of the whole motorhome. Right here, also because it's a 2021, Thor's new warranty is a 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty, which is the longest in the industry. And we have a little bit of storage right there and a little bit more storage back here. Also, if you wanna bring a grill camping with you, you can hook it up right there. And this does have a receiver hitch in the back and you can tow 5,000 pounds. Now listen, the outside of this motorhome is great, but it's really the inside that makes the difference. Let's go take a look. Great, so inside this spacious motorhome, we have a full wall slide, which starts here and it ends up all the way in the bedroom, making this feel so big and spacious and I love it. Up here is our bunk over the cab. This holds a record 800 pounds in the bunk over the cab. I absolutely love that. You have a big TV right there and it is kind of adjacent to where the sofa is. Now this sofa does jackknife to make a bed. We have three big storage compartments above the sofa area. Nice big window right here, makes it very light and bright and opens it up in here. And then there's also a side window right here. But look how big these windows are, just to let in a lot of natural light. And this sofa does jackknife to make a bed. And there is cup holders behind the sofa. Across from the sofa is the dinette. This does drop, also drop down to make a bed. And the reason why I like it is because it's a nice social circle right here. We have huge cabinetry above the dinette there. And when you have a ton of cabinetry, what you need more is even more cabinetry or storage, I should say. And so you have storage under there and there. Very nice. Then, oops. Finishing up right there, we have the kitchen area. Now this kitchen area is nice. We have a convection microwave right here. Three burner cooktop, no oven. This is storage drawers. But there is the glass cover over the stove top in case you do need more countertop space. And then you have a really nice big single bowl sink right there. And check this out, you don't see this often. There's a cabinet right here. Oh, look at that. I guess a place for wine and you know, you can probably put like a toaster or coffee pot in there. Very nice. Now, if you don't have enough countertop space, not a problem. You pull this out and you have more storage underneath there. And then across, you have a two-way refrigerator. This runs off both propane and electric. Very nice. All right, finishing up. There's no bedroom. It's kind of an all open concept. Again, great for state and national parks. If you want your own separate bedroom, you're gonna have to go to the 30, 31, 32 footers. But look at this. This is a king size bed in a class C motorhome. You almost never see that. I absolutely love that. You just flip this up here when the slide out comes in. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh man. You have really big, nice, deep storage right there. Man, you can bring a lot of uh, clothes with you. And then, of course, you do have a TV in the bedroom right here. And in case you do bring guests and you do need a little bit of additional privacy, you have this curtain right here. Finishing up in the bathroom. Wow, look at that. This is a great size shower for a Class C motorhome. This looks like it's a 30 by 36. We have this Nautilus style door right here. I mean, I did not expect this size of a shower in here uh, because again, they're trying to keep it small and compact. We have your medicine cabinets right here, you know, plenty of storage, a little sink, and this toilet, which looks like it's on a really good angle. And it is, it gives you plenty of leg space to be comfortable to take care of your business. Great, so that's the 
Thor Quantum SE27. If you guys want any more information about this motorhome, just give us a call or visit us at our website, generalrv.com, for pricing and availability and locations. Thank you absolutely so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks everybody for watching. That's a wrap for day four. Make sure you go to our website, generalrv.com forward slash virtual RV show. We're running RV show prices all month long. Make sure you go to YouTube and Facebook to subscribe for notifications. We'll see you on the lot.